You'll never guess what this <gasps> is. It's a pattern review. A pattern review. <laughs> Our channel. I'm Rachel. I'm Nikki, and we're the Stitch Sisters. It's been a while since yeah. we've said that, isn't it? it? Has. <laughs> and we're back with an actual pattern review. Actual sewing has happened. Actual sewing has happened. <laughs> yes, and for all that to happen, we need to say a big thank you to Laura from Material Girl Laura, who sent us these lovely fabrics that we're wearing. Yes, and she had a really really fun idea where she would send us both a fabric. And that we would then go off. So we, if you can see, we've got the same fabric in two, two different, different colourways. Yeah. And that we would then go off and independently, without consulting, create mm. an outfit or make something From and the then fabric. reveal it to each other. Mm. So that's so, what we've done today. Yes. So <laughs> this is what happened before a little bit earlier on when Nikki came over when we first saw each other's creations. Hi everyone, so I'm just on my way to Rachel's house showing her my new dress that she hasn't seen yet. So let's go and see. I can't wait to see her dress too. It's so exciting. I don't know what she's made. Who knows, what will it be? Will it be a dress? Will it be a shirt? Will it be a jumpsuit? I have no idea. So I am wearing the dress that I have made with my Material Girl Laura fabric and I'm just waiting for Nikki who I think is going to knock any minute. She just texted me to say she was coming over so I can see what she's made. I can hear her. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Hey! Hi! dress too. Yes, I have. Both got slits. Ooh, hey, check out the slits. <laughs> Lovely. Check you out. Ooh, nice. Okay. So I love it. Look, I love the sleeves. Big sleeves. Big sleeves. And the plunging V, obviously. Oh, oh, oh. And what is this elastic? Oh, yeah. it is. Yes. And show me the back. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at your little ties. <laughs> They're so cute. You like it? I absolutely love it. Excellent. Let's have a proper look at yours. Woohoo! Right. <laughs> Come on then. Let's have a proper look. So you've got a button up front. Yes. And sleeveless. Scoop neck. And a tie. Yes. It's and tight all the way around. Saucy little split. Or a saucy split in the front. Excellent. Oh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Cool. Didn't we do well? Days. Yes, I love it. <laughs> So I absolutely love your dress. What pattern is this? Well, <laughs> this is actually the Stitch Sisters caftan. <gasps> it's but not. But with a couple of adjustments. Oh. It is, yes. So um, when we say pattern review, there is no actual pattern. Obviously, there is a tutorial that you can follow on our website. Yes. But what I'll do is talk you step by step through what it is that I did. Now, okay. I'm afraid it was kind of like a, an afternoon sew where I was just kind of figuring it out as I went along. In so the zone. there's no pictures or anything that I can <laughs> add to the tutorial, but it's a fairly simple adjustment. So hopefully it's something if you want to recreate, then you can. Um, so basically, when I saw the fabric, I thought maxi jack and mm -hmm. something a bit retro is kind of what I was thinking. It's a lovely lightweight Pima cotton lawn, yep. um, which means it's perfect for those really, really hot days. Mm. Um, and I thought to myself, what I would love is something that's maxi length, yeah. um, that's nice and airy, but also has a sleeve. Yes. And Laura sent us three meters each, mm -hmm. so we have plenty to play with. So initially I was just planning on making the caftan and I had plans to put some embellishments around the neckline. So okay. I've got loads of trims and things that I was planning on putting around the neckline. Um, none of them looked quite right. right. Um, but then when I started thinking about it and decided that I wanted a sleeve, I decided that um, the best thing to do would be to, well, let me talk you through, first of all, the first change. So if I I'm stand sure. up so you can see. So the front here, you can see this is elasticated. So okay. I wanted it to have a nice low V, but I wanted it to be elasticated at the front. And then what I've done is create some ties, just some little rouleau loops, nice mm -hmm. thin ties that I've anchored at the side seam. Yeah. And that then kind of cinches it in at the back. 
So when it's not tied, um, it's much looser and uh, you know, I can tie it as tight or as loose as I want depending yeah. on kind of how I feel. I don't know if any of this is visible on camera, so hopefully <laughs> it is, or I'll be doing this bit again. Um, <laughs> what I decided to do on the end of the straps was just add some little tassels that They're I've had gorgeous. in my uh, stash for ages. Yeah. Um, so that was the first thing that I wanted to change is I wanted it to fit under the bust more mm -hmm. empire line. Um, and on the caftan pattern, we have a much wider tie and it's positioned a bit lower down on the waist. Yeah. So I decided in order to create this elastic channel at the front, um, what I would do is take my front panels and mm -hmm. actually cut them in half. Okay. So I cut my rectangles as usual, as described on the tutorial. What I did is I took a tape measure and I measured from my shoulder over the fullest part of my bust to underneath. Mm -hmm. And then I added an inch to that just to right. give me a little bit of extra kind of movement and mm -hmm. room and that sort of thing. So that turned out to be 17 inches. Okay. So once I'd cut my front rectangles, I cut the top 17 inches off. And right. that gave me a top and a bottom. a bottom. Right. So I then went ahead and created my V as uh -huh. usual. So it's got bias binding on the inside nice. to create my V. And then what I did is once I'd assembled the front and created the V, I attached the bottom to it, but I did it as quite a chunky French seam. Okay. So I sewed it wrong sides together, first of all. Uh huh. And then I flipped it over and I sewed it right sides together, but leaving myself probably about a half inch channel. Right. And it was through that that I then fed the elastic. Fed the elastic. Nice. So I literally took the elastic and kind of put it on one side over to the other mm -hmm. to give myself an idea of the length. Mm -hmm. And then I fed it through with a safety pin and I anchored it on one side. Once the end had got to the edge, I yeah. just anchored it with a sewing machine sewing up and down, fed it through to the other side, stretched it a bit and then anchored it on the other side. Yeah. So what that allowed it to do was to gather, gather in, in like this. It's so I could just have more even gathers rather than relying mm. on the tie to do that for me. It's very subtle. Yeah. <sighs> And then the straps were literally just some strips of fabric. Um, I know I wanted them to be about three eighths, about a centimetre wide when they were done. So mm -hmm. I think I probably cut, I don't know, an inch and a quarter maybe mm -hmm. width and then folded them on half, stitched them, turned them through. Yeah. Um, quite tricky to turn through little straps like that. So yeah. I would definitely recommend the prim turning tool. That yeah, we the, the loop turner, which yeah. is amazing. Really good for those kind of little things. Turn them all the way through and then kind of anchored them onto the side seam before mm -hmm. I then attached the back. Yeah. So the rest of the construction is pretty much exactly the same. Um, I left slits in the side, which are which in is the instructions on the pattern. for the pattern. Yeah. Um, so the only other thing that I did was to add a sleeve. And I wanted quite a big sleeve. And you can see this is the seam here. So this is the kind of drop shoulder that's created naturally by the rectangle of the front. Yeah. So you can either just hem that or in the pattern, you just add a rectangle and it kind of extends the sleeve. Mm -hmm. But I thought to get some fullness in, what mm -hmm. I'll do is actually double the width of the rectangle. Okay. And then I took all the extra, mm -hmm. so basically the same again, and I divided it into three big pleats. So there's a big box pleat here. And there's one here and then the there's back. one at the front and one at the back lovely so that then brought it down to the size of sleeve that's in the pattern yes that's in the tutorial but you've still got all that fullness in yeah there. exactly so when i attached it i created the pleats first of all and then i just attached it as instructed yeah um and kind of just let it hang and do its thing i've got a loose thread there <laughs> And uh -huh. then I decided that um, to bring it in at the bottom, I would just put elastic into the hem. Oh, so lovely. The same elastic in there. No, it's just, just an elastic. elastic channel in there. Lovely. Um, I did have to say it was a bit of trial and error. It took a few goes because okay. um, initially I made the sleeve way too long. Oh, okay. And because it was so big, it was literally kind of that this excess was hanging down past my hand. <laughs> so I took four inches off, did yeah. it again. And it was still too big. It wow. It took another four inches off. Wow. Um, so the finished rectangle from here to the hem is about 18 inches. Right. But I think I started off with something absolutely crazy. I can't remember exactly what it was, mm. but it was something like 26 inches or something like that. Wow. 
And so it was best to err on the side of caution. Yeah, and I, and I knew I wanted big sleeves, but yeah. that was a little no, bit crazy. Too big. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with how it's it turned really out. It's really gorgeous. Um, and I love the idea that you can create this dramatic sleeve mm. with just a rectangle. Yeah. So it's just the equivalent of a kimono sleeve. Yeah. But by putting those pleats in, yeah. you're just bringing it back to the size that it should be attaching it to the armhole. Yeah. Um, but you're, you've got all the fullness yeah. at the bottom there. Um, and you could have done it, I could have done it with gathers, I could have gathered it yeah. up to fit, but I wanted it clean at the top. And yeah, then and at the I bottom. think it's a really, really unusual. And it's the fabric is so beautiful, isn't it? It's so lovely to wear. Yeah. And I just love the colours in yours. You've got all the yellows and the orange and the purple and mm. the blue and yeah, stuff. Yeah, lovely, really lovely retro colours. Yeah. Um, and then I did go deeper on the V, as you can see. Um, she likes a bit of cleavage. Showing off the gals. I know that for a lot of people that have made the caftan, they've gone for a much kind of higher neckline about there. You can just but, stitch it up That's yeah fine. absolutely just like the vogue dress that mm -hmm. we love you could just stitch it up and yeah what to whatever height you want just use some hand stitches to close it yeah um but i decided i did want a low v because i think it gives it that kind of yeah. um, 70s vibe. yes it does absolutely um, yeah absolutely. so so what you can do is um when you come to actually kind of cut your v um then you decide where you want it to end mm -hmm. and then again measure from your shoulder to that point yeah and then do that on the fabric right and you'll you'll get a similar sort of mm -hmm. distance perfect yes yeah, so that's me <laughs> <sighs> phew yes <laughs> luckily Tell us all about yours i absolutely love it and i'd happily wear yours just as much as mine luckily Let's mine swap. is a lot simpler than yours because i just used a pattern so best way. Uh, best way um i wanted something when i saw the fabric i wanted something which was a high summer dress for those days where it is very hot and very sticky yeah. or you're going on holiday this would be a great traveling dress actually because it's so comfortable so it's the southport dress from true bias i've got heels on so i'm not sure how much you can actually see but it's got a very big split up, up the front it's it's maxi length and it's got a channel with the uh the little tie going all the way around and then it's obviously sleeveless and it's got a proper button up front and this dress has been uh made quite a lot so there's mm -hmm. there's been it's quite a new pattern but and it's got pockets let Ooh, me just say it's that's got one thing pockets. i wish i'd added to mine <laughs> um but a lot of people have, have used it as a beach cover-up yeah as well so i think it's it's one of those that could be really flexible mm -hmm. you can wear it with bare feet on the on the beach with a yeah. bikini underneath or you can put some heels on and you dress yeah. it up to go out in the evening yes and so i wanted something that was that flexible but that was dealing with those really really hot mm -hmm. days and i think this is perfect yeah so i really love it and the, the instructions were brilliant um she has um it was just true bias is, is is very very well done mm. the fit is very good i mean it's oversized if i was to undo the tie and i think i just did whatever my standard size 14 in the uk would be so you can see how big it is yeah but that's but how you, you get want that it like of that comfort factor over yeah. your hips and, and you can tie it as much slim, as you want uh pockets don't work if it's too yeah. fixed on your hips then the pockets the pockets the won't work so. but you can tie that as tight as you want and you yeah. could even put a proper belt around yeah. it if you wanted to glam it a mm -hmm. bit more um but it was a really simple make the fabric yeah. was really lovely to sew with and it came together really easily. No sleeves. No. Bit of um bias binding. Bit of bias binding. Sat I love satin bias binding mm -hmm. against the skin. So I always do satin bias binding. Um and I always match mine, so if it's cotton fabric, I'll use cotton binding. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I just always use satin for some you reason. Feel fancy. I'm fancy. <laughs> <laughs> but I liked the I liked the construction was really nice. Yeah. Um I liked doing the the buttonholes. I gave it that made it feel a little bit extra special yeah. as well rather yeah. than just like a chuck on dress yeah although you could you know the cam snaps the button yes. poppers and stuff that would be really good for it would be really well. fun you could um, do, i mean you could have a proper fun with it as well yeah. um but uh, you don't there's no other fastenings then actually you don't need to undo the buttons to put it on because mm. there's so much room in it it's one of those just you know straight over the head jobs kind yeah. of thing yeah it's funny i think there's a lot of similarities <laughs> yeah because we both ended up going for a maxi dress we yes. both got splits you've got one in the front i've got one in each side yes uh we've both got that kind of oversized but cinched in with a tie yes um and uh, and it's quite funny how we interpreted the fabric it all we were drawn to quite 
quite similar similar silhouette. Yes, um, the only difference is this mine's got a sleeve and a lower V. Yeah, um, but but really they're very very they're similar. very similar. Yeah. Absolutely. So so the fabric itself. Um, yes. So if you don't know, Pima cotton lawn is so cotton lawn is a very fine version of cotton. So it's quite thin and mm -hmm. it's quite drapey, um, but it's still very stable and easy to sew. Um, but it's also very breathable and very lightweight. Yeah. Um, but Pima cotton lawn is like the next level up. So it's particularly mm. fine cotton fibres mm. um, and that gives it this lovely almost kind of satiny it's almost silky, feel. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I find that it's even better for like creasing and stuff. So yeah. normal cotton lawn I think creases easier than, than Pima does. It's got the ordinary cotton lawn's still got a crispness to it. Yeah. It's got a slight crispness. This the Pima seems to eradicate that completely. It's it's just yeah. soft. Yes. And I think that's why the creases don't hold in it yeah. very well. It yeah. doesn't it doesn't crease it's a lot. It's like it's you know, when you've used conditioner in your hair. It's like yeah. <laughs> Just, she's just stroking herself. I am. No. Just stroking myself. <laughs> um, so we can highly recommend that. Laura has a great range of Pima cotton lawns. Yes. And to be fair, she did send us these fabrics a good couple of months ago now, and it's taken mm. us a while to get round to. We've made them ages ago, but it's mm. taken us a while to get round to filming for one yes. reason or another. Mm. So hopefully she's still got some in the store, and we can link below. But if she hasn't, then we will link to other. Uh, cotton and Pima, Pima cottons lawns that she has. Yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, these I can't remember the names of these. One's called I think one's called Rachel. Is it? And then the other one's called another. Is Phoebe. it called I Nikki? Think it's Phoebe and Rachel. Oh. I think that's what they're called. Oh, like from France. Yeah, I think so. Um, but we will um, we'll link to to them below so you can find more details. Yes. Um, but we love the the retro vibes and we love the the colours. Yes. Um, it's kind of like a really nice combination between retro and modern yeah and i love that blue on you i think it's beautiful yeah i would have happily used your fabric and i think this yeah. one would have worked just, We're as, just well as well on, on me so yeah. i think um it's uh, maybe we'll have to swap i'll have to wear yes, it one day yes maybe, maybe we will yes exactly <laughs> so as we're in full pattern review mode we've obviously done some prancy pictures for you so we will follow up with them but we hope it's been really nice being back to pattern reviews and this is the most dressed up i have been in months months <laughs> yeah i've actually put lipstick on today which yeah. is just unheard of although i've still got comfy flat sandals on <laughs> I can't, can't go too far <laughs> So it's really nice to be back. We hope we'll be back soon with more normal videos. But yeah. in the meantime, you take care of yourself and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.